Taran tan tan taran tan 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 Natural Science Class with Teacher Fernando. On this video, we are going to learn about physical changes and chemical reactions. A physical change happens when an object changes its shape, position, texture, or state of matter. These changes can be reversible or irreversible. About the changes in state, objects can be in three different states of matter that are solid, liquid, and gas. They can change state when the object is heated or cooled. These changes are reversible. If we add more heat to the object, it can go from solid to liquid, melting, and the vaporization is the change from liquid to gas. And then, if we cool the object, it can go from gas to liquid with the condensation and freezing is the process to make it from liquid to solid. Let's have a look now at the changes in shape, position and texture. Objects can change in shape and texture when you cut, break or crumple them. They can also change their position when you apply any force. For example, here she is cutting her head, this bone is broken and you can crumple this aluminum foil into the ball. We have two types of changes. First, reversible changes. They are temporary and can be reversed. We can go back to the first state. The changes in state are usually reversible. For example, melting an ice cube and freezing it again. The same with this ice cream. It can be melted and then freeze again. And the irreversible changes. They are permanent and cannot be reversed. The changes in shape and texture are usually reversible. For example, crumpling a piece of paper or cutting your hair. You cannot put it back together, even though your hair will grow. And this aluminum foil or a piece of paper, if you crumple it into a ball, you cannot put it back to the first state. Let's move on now to chemical reactions. Chemical reactions create a new substance with different properties. So we have a couple or more substances and we are creating a new one. The chemical reactions are combustion, oxidation and fermentation. And they occur around us all the time. Combustion is a chemical reaction between oxygen and fuel. This fuel could be wood, petrol or natural gas. This chemical reaction, combustion, produces light, heat and a new substance. It also produces waste products such as carbon dioxide. For example, in this fire it produces light, heat and the new substance that are the ashes. Also, it produces carbon dioxide in the smoke. And something similar with this petrol in your car or the natural gas in the fire. It produces light and heat 
and waste products, mostly carbon dioxide. Fermentation is a chemical reaction between fungi or bacteria and other organic material. We use fermentation in many fruit products, such as bread with the yeast or the cookies, yogurt, cheese, pickles, and olives. All of those are fermented products. And the last one, oxidation, is a chemical reaction between oxygen and another substance that reacts with it. Iron objects react with oxygen and water in the air and produce a brown substance called rust that you can see in this image or this old key. So these objects are rusty. Fruit and vegetables also react with oxygen and turn brown when they are peeled or cut. For example, this apple was cut in half, it get the oxidation all around and then it was cut again, just this half, to show the difference. So, in summary, we have two possibilities in the changes of state. They could be reversible or irreversible. With the first one, we have one object. It takes a reversible change and becomes a new object. And we can go back to the first state. With the irreversible object, it's impossible to go back when we have the result of the reaction. Then we have to differentiate between physical changes and chemical reactions. The physical changes can be changes in state, liquid, gas and solid, or changes that affect the properties of the material, that are texture, shape and position. And then the chemical changes, or better, the chemical reactions, produce a new material and some waste products. This, this reaction, these chemical reactions are combustion, oxidation and fermentation. That was all for this video. I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye all!